Hello everyone, Citizens United, it's Man City 2, West Ham 1. And I said before in my preview um, yesterday, expect a tough game. It was a tough game, but mainly because of the snow. I thought we controlled the game well, despite the conditions. And the team lineup wasn't that far off what I said it was going to be. We did play Mares, Sterling and Jesus up front. Our bench was looking pretty weak in terms of replacements for them. And Pep decided not to make any substitutions until right at the end when Fernandinho came on. And Fernandinho scored, so what a substitution that was. But that first half, that's where we won the game. We controlled it well. We um, handled the conditions better, which is surprising. Um, I would have said years ago that if there was a snowstorm and the ball wasn't running, the long ball would suit it best. But I'll take a tack of play, our short passing, our, our quick balls into feet. Worked wonders against West Ham. They couldn't handle it in the first half. And even though Mares and Sterling couldn't really um, affect the game with pace and things, I thought it did all right on the wings. I thought it did good. Yeah, Jesus as well. Obviously, Sterling and him swapping around a little bit. Um, it was it was a good game. I thought I thought we did well. Um, we handled their height and their strength really well too. Again, you look at the snow and you think to yourself, you're playing long ball, you're dominating the air. But our defenders, they they came in trumps again. And we want to limit them to something like five shots for the whole game. So, well played. And they only had two shots on target. And I'm not going to sit here and say they they shouldn't have scored. I mean, it's it would have been nice to keep a clean sheet. But their goal through Lanzini at the end, it, it was a good goal. Edison couldn't save it. Um, no complaints there. But yeah, let's just talk about Pep again and his team. Um, his team lineup. I think it's been telling in the last few weeks in the Premier League. Um, and I've said it a couple of times who he trusts more I mean he puts the team on and he doesn't make substitutions yes yeah, you look at the bench and our forward line if we hadn't got the goal the second goal um, it could have been a little bit dicey in the last uh, few minutes during injury time but our attacking mind we had Palmer we had McAtee on the bench and that was about it for um, players that could change the game maybe for us you know we had no Grealish we had no Foden so yeah, I, I guess we need more, more attacking play. We don't need more attacking plays. That's ridiculous. But I think it shows that Pep lets the players on the pitch play the game. You know, he's he's not going to be forced into changes just because it's the the norm. And that's what people do. So yeah, I mean, no complaints. And again, like our defenders, if if Walker gets injured. We're going to put Cancelo on the right, and then you look at our left hand side, and we've got um, Aki who. I don't think he's played well for us since he came to us. And we have Sinchenko, who, who is good, but he's not got the pace. And I do I do get concerned if one of our right backs gets injured because we're playing them both and we've got no one to replace them. I mean, if Cancelo gets injured and then Walker gets injured in these winter months, we're in a lot of trouble in defence. Yeah, he could probably play. I think he'll probably play Diaz on the right, but Stones in the middle of Laporte. But again, you're risking that because if one of them gets injured, we're in trouble. So... Yeah, hopefully we can sign another another. Well, we sign a left back. I'm hoping in January we do need still need a striker. I think as well because again we 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 battered West Ham in terms of shots at goal, but on target it's pretty much similar to theirs. It's um just have a look now. I mean we had 19 shots and nine on target. I mean to be fair, that's not bad return. I've seen 20 plus shots and only like three or four on target this season. So we did better. The keeper had a good game, you know. And again, with the snow affecting us like it did, I, th I thought we managed that quite well. Surprisingly, well, I thought we managed that a lot better than West Ham did. And unlike the game at the London Stadium in the Cup, you know, we, we didn't let them, um, let them come back into it at all. We just controlled it, which we did against Liverpool, we did it against Chelsea, we did it against United, we did it against Leicester. We're controlling the ball so well this season that... Teams can't even, get, can't even get a looking, can't even try. And all these physical teams and all these teams that hit you on the counter with pace, we've just controlled their moments so, so well. Um, and we did it against PSG in the Champions League uh, the other game. We played it so well. We just don't give them a chance. So, yeah, great game today. We won 2-1. It's a great result as well. I said before in the preview um, a couple of days ago that if we got beat today or we dropped points today, I mean, we could get stuck in a race for third. But we won, we keep the pressure on Chelsea, we keep the pressure on Liverpool. Um, it's not our best, but we're winning by four and five goals. But I mean, these games these games are the ones that win you the league. You know, you're winning a snowstorm 2-1. That's what's going to win you the league. It's, it's not winning 4-5-0 at home against the Norwich 
or um or Watford or something like that or Southampton is beating um West Ham 2-1 in a snowstorm and controlling the game as well as you did. So great result. And next game we have Villa away. I think it's on Tuesday. I think it's on Amazon as well. Looking forward to that. Uh, I'll be watching that. But Steven Gerrard's got Villa playing well. I think he's won two out of two now. They got that new manager bounce. And yeah, it's going to be a good game as well. And it's another game where you look at it and you say, if you win that, that's what champions are made of. So we're going to go there. We're going to try and win. And we're going to prove that without striker, you know, we can we can win this league again. You know, prove it wasn't a fluke last season. So come on, City. Do for us. And that's it. That's the video. Um, just a short one. Nice little uh, match review. Again, looking at it, defense on top as usual. Strikers, they need to do a little bit better. Like Mares and Sterling need to, you know, do a bit more. Need to get on the score sheet, I think. Um, and Jesus is working hard, but he's not scoring. But he, it's the front. It's the front three. I think that's letting us not letting us down. But they 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 just need to influence more through goals. Yeah, they're getting great um, passes in and things like that, but. They, they, they need to get their goals in because, you know, that's that's where we've been lacking in the, the last couple of months. But great result nonetheless. West Ham, it concerned me. It would me a little bit. But great, great win. Great three points. Deserved three points as well. I don't think anyone can have any complaints. And yeah, on to Villa on Tuesday. Now, thanks for watching. That is the video. And please do think about leaving a like and a subscribe. Again, I always say, if you don't watch it, you know, not hard feelings, but it really does help if you do like it. And leave us a subscription because it means we can um, carry on doing it and we hit more people as well in the YouTube algorithm. So thanks again and uh, enjoy your weekend. See you against Villa. Bye-bye.